hi, this is Renee again. Um, wherever um you're viewing this from, whatever um social media platform, either press hearts, like. It doesn't matter whatever it is you see fit that you want to do. But um, I just wanted to like do my weekly accountable video that I usually do. I'm doing it early. I'm doing it actually Monday evening after I got off work. And um, because it's like some stuff that been on my mind, on my heart. And I just want to get off. It's not really anything like, you know, young living. But it is at the same time, you know. But it's not like about products or anything. I guess it's so more about how I feel about what I'm doing right now in my journey in my life or whatever and then as far as my business with Young Living and everything so basically you know I was just thinking about some stuff I was thinking about because this guy and most likely when I put this on YouTube and everything I'm gonna put his um Instagram down on um in there where you can like go check him out whatever so basically this past weekend right this guy you know he a comedian I found him through, um, what is it, Kevin on the stage or whatever and everything. And I really like him and everything. He like this little short, freckle face guy or whatever and everything. And he's just funny. Like, when I'm, like, in a mood or whatever, just for a good laugh or whatever, I just be strolling through Instagram and he'll have some on that funny. So, you know, I had already saw his clothing line. I think it's called Nappy, something like that, whatever it's called. I know I saw something about Nappy or whatever and everything. But he has his clothes line. So now he, you know, even though he was promoting it, you know, I guess he really wasn't promoting it on his videos that he was making on Instagram or whatever, you know. So he decided to make the decision, you know, to do it. I don't know what video that was. All I know is I ended up strolling and finding the video where he said, okay. And he basically broke it down. Like, I feel like I'm going to break it down too. Basically, he said that, okay, y'all can sit there, and this, these my words, it might not be particularly his words, you can go back and you can find him or whatever, but yeah, basically, this was, in my words, um, we can let everybody else program us, you know what I'm saying, and then, I think the way that he was saying it as far as black people, whatever, but me, I'm speaking in general. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm talking like from a young living perspective or whatever the case may be or network marketing like, you know, businesses that people have or whatever, whatever. Because I know I like tried to get in a Facebook group for businesses and they was like, well, if it's MLMs and this, that, and the other one that you're not welcome. So blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking like, hey, a business is a business. You know, that's how I look at it. So basically, let me get back to what he was saying. So basically, he was saying that, okay, you can sit here and... Let a commercial fly by and tell you what to buy. You may not think that you're going to buy it or whatever, but you don't say anything about these people, these big companies, these big name brands or whatever the case may be that, them, you know, became a household staple in your home or whatever over years, over time, probably from generation to generation because you so, you know, you see mom buy Kogay or whatever, so you buy Kogay. You don't, you don't know anything. You don't ask no questions or whatever. So basically that's what he was saying. So y'all probably have to go back and, find the video and everything and I shared it on my Facebook in the story and then I think I um shared it on the link on my page too and I put all my social media stuff in um the YouTube um link down below or whatever and everything but basically okay it's for me it like hit something with me hit home with me so I was just like okay that's the same thing as far as you know, he probably look at himself like that's a small business. Me, being in Young Living too, network marketing or whatever, you know, we look at it like it's a business for us too. And then for some people, you know what I'm saying, this beginning of my Young Living journey or whatever and everything. And of course, you know, it's a lot of people that are skeptic. And I understand that because at first, I'm not going to lie, I was looking like, what? You know, just like, you know, just don't think that oh oils because you just thinking of it as oils like yeah these people talking about blah 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 until you experience for yourself because if y'all watch like previous videos that i've had and there you know that i've made and everything i'd be like hey i'm a realist all you can do is experience for yourself okay so i've experienced it and i'm like okay i wish i would have known this you know 
beforehand or whatever the case may be, you know, and everything, then, you know, I probably would have been doing a healthier alternative way longer before now. So, okay. With that being said, when you look at it from a business standpoint, these people want to look at us and say, okay, why should I buy my toothpaste from y'all too? And it, I don't know how to say it because I'm, I'm trying not to make a voice or whatever. But basically, it's just like you can sit there, Colgate, pay for commercials and everything. I get it. We pray, we may not as Young Living people, members or whatever, we, we're we doing it like how you say small like you know what i'm saying we haven't got to a corporate level because we're like people that are doing it part-time from our homes while we still have jobs that we go to every day so we don't have this money to invest to get these commercials to flash in front of you thieves thieves or whatever products oh you should try lavender see the seal and tell you about all these things so we doing it by word of mouth and we trying to show you through whatever way that we can show you you know most likely by word of mouth or zoom or whatever with everything the COVID-19 that's going on right now and everything but before you know you would probably be able to like put the odds on if, if we were able to like give you a showing whatever the case may be and you experience it for yourself Colgate doesn't even do that I keep saying Colgate because I don't want to keep going through like different products so we'll just stay on toothpaste or whatever and everything so okay so Colgate sit up in there he, they don't even let you try before you buy it. Now, you might get, you know, you go to Sam's Club, these little places. But Coke ain't been around for a long time. That probably was like back in the day if they gave our samples for you to try. And just because it was so-called whatever they told you was minty fresh or whatever the case may be. And then they telling you, oh, whitening, this, that, and the other one. But they not telling you anything about what they're putting in it. Oh, well, now they are. You know what I'm saying? The stuff be on the back. But if you look at it, the stuff that's on the back that's for whitening or that that gives it that minty taste or scent to leave your mouth so-called refreshed and everything or whatever the case may be, you're sitting up in there exposing your body to all kinds of stuff that you can't even pronounce at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, okay, we have our, at Young Living, we have our line you know our toothpaste and everything or whatever and then it's like i can look up and know exactly what's inside of my toothpaste that's the thing that's that's the difference with young living the way that i look at it and everything you know and yeah of course it's for we are a business we yeah we do want you to purchase our products or whatever so why don't y'all think we want to make a profit everybody else wants to make a profit off you and that's basically what the guy was saying on instagram he was like okay everybody else making a profit off of y'all but when it comes to us or whatever and everything y'all you know like small businesses you know people that are not big corporations basically y'all look at us like okay y'all trying to just get in our pockets or whatever but everybody else is if you look at it like that if you wake up and realize that's what they're doing it's just because they're these big name brands that you see every day and you don't question them but you will sit there and question us because you're just not familiar with us i guess or whatever and then won't even try it even if we probably gave you a sample or whatever because i'm like a sample person i don't mind letting you you know try it before you buy it or whatever because somebody gave me that opportunity you know what i'm saying to make me say oh, okay hmm I need to get into this or whatever you know instead of me just making an investment and then like find out oh this is mm -mm, this ain't nothing you know this is bad or whatever you know what I'm saying they lied or whatever you know I at least got to sample it before you know I bought it and there's nothing wrong with that but it's better than you send up in there saying what it is knock it before you try it or whatever it's better than you send up in there and doing that or whatnot you get what I'm saying so it's just like I don't know he just hit home. When I say I had to share his stuff, because he just, when I say he keeps it real, he keeps it real, he going to say what's on his mind regardless. Like, when y'all see this guy, y'all probably already know who he is or whatever. Like, he keeps me laughing. Like, oh, my goodness. He, he like, this little, I want to call him a little butterball. But if he was to, like, see my video or whatever, <laughs> he'd probably be like, she just going to call me a butterball? But it's just, like, he's, like, adorable. And he's so funny. But, um, yeah, so it's just like, I don't know. 
him making that video like really hit home for me and where I'm at right now and everything. And I was like, yeah, you know, people look at me, you know, and especially like the people that's close to you or whatever. Of course, I'm like, oh, you know, she in this young living thing now, whatever, good. Trying to, you know, like, God, you don't got to. I ain't saying you got to. I'm not finna pour your hand neither. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I know, hey, I'm benefiting, you know, hey. Oh, well, if you don't want to benefit, if you don't want to benefit, I don't want to sit up in there and make Colgate rich when I can make my own self, you know, wealthy or help somebody else be wealthy or whatever, you know, by giving somebody something good. At least at the end of the day, I could sleep well knowing that whatever product I sold somebody or whatever, that it's not going to hurt or harm them. You get what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I got to get some AC on as I'm sitting in the wall. But yeah, it's just like, really? That's how I look at it at the end of the day. Like, how can y'all sit there and trip about small businesses, don't even want to give it a try, and this, that, and the other one? Or, you know, it is some people out there, because, hey, it wouldn't be, you know, any customers to these people that have these little businesses. I don't want to say little businesses, but that have these small, I'm still putting them word, but Yeah, I guess that's what you call them, small businesses or whatever, because they're not big corporations, put it that way. I guess that's why they would call them small. Um, But it's just like, that's just how I look at it. I don't know. I'd rather just be able to sleep well. At the, and not saying those people don't sleep well, because they probably be like, hey, I got a mansion, whatever the case may be. I can do what I want to do. You know, maybe that works for them to be able to say, we know what we put in now. And then that's another thing that I thought about. I'm sorry, I couldn't sleep last night. Another thing that I thought about, like, I'm a label reader person. I don't know when I started that. Maybe when I started, like, years ago, want to lose weight and be healthier and everything or whatever. So I started reading labels. I'm glad they started putting what's inside of it. So I noticed that they'll have, like, stuff at the bottom that say may have soy nuts or whatever in it. And I be looking like, like, say I'm buying, I don't want y'all to be like, the cracker box don't say that. But we're just going to say the cracker box say that and then it's on the bottom soy nut or whatever i'm looking like okay ain't isn't this a cracker why is the cracker may have this stuff in it or whatever like i don't know it just make me say is all of this stuff like processed in the same plant or whatever the case may be and everything you know <laughs> like what to where all this stuff is mixed together and they just cautioning you to say okay this might have this in here i'm just telling you because we had used this but we cleaned it out though but just in case we didn't get everything we don't want nobody with a nut allergy to eat this crackle and may you know have an allergic reaction but a nut shouldn't even be anything that have to do with a cracker i don't know that's just what i was thinking last night but hey that's my mind how my mind works but it's just like i don't know that like just catch stuff like that just catches my attention like why would this even have something to do with this or whatever you know just sort of like reading between the lines like and we don't even realize as people or ask questions as people to say, um, what are they putting out there? I don't know. Maybe I just got to this point in my life. You know, I had some health issues. You know, one day I said, yeah, about it or whatever. And everything, my daughter has had her share, my youngest and everything. But, you know, I just let, you know, hey, if she ever want to share it, she'll share it one day. Because I think I said that before. And that's, like, one of the things that actually led me to do Young Living and everything. Or just, period, just have a healthier life, period. You know what I'm saying? And so, I don't know. It's just like, I'm just like, I'm going to be a label reader for life. I'm going to ask questions. I'm going to be like, okay, I'm not going to just buy this just because. And I was. I was like a couponer that wasn't asking questions, just was looking like, hey, as long as I can get it for a good price or whatever and everything, I'm not worrying about what's in it or whatever. And still, like, I've been recently, like, cleaning up my house because my daughter still hasn't, like, 
latched on, I guess that's the right word, and true blue to the Young Living team or whatever and everything. So, you know, she like, yeah, I want that toothpaste or whatever and everything. You know, and I ain't even like, like I had put on social media, Instagram and Facebook that I was giving away all my stuff. When I say that's just how much I was a couponer, like I put it up that, that I was just going to sell it off for like 25 But my daughter, my oldest one, she was like, no, mama, I take that. And then I was just thinking about her, you know, knowing what I know now. And then my grandson be around that. Like, I literally, and I said it to my daughter, I literally told her, didn't that kill your hamster? Like, these little things that you put the spray, air freshener, and it goes off, like, every so many seconds or whatever the case may be. Go, shh, and then, shh. Aaron, so you can have that burst of, of freshness or whatever, artificial freshness, so to speak. And then it's just like, when you think about it, you're like, it is not like no fresh air circulating. So you just inhaling these chemicals or whatever. They saying, oh, smell like sugar cookies or whatever. These ain't no real sugar cookies. This something that you putting together in a lab, um, saying, oh, we got to just write that. Don't that smell almost like cinnamon? cook it's all right not nothing to do with no cinnamon but hey if we can get it close enough to the smell we gonna sell it girl you know they gonna get this for christmas or whatever the case may be and it was it was like some stuff from christmas or whatever like apple cider or something or whatever and my daughter has like i want this or whatever and christmas coming i was like oh my goodness why not just you know what i'm saying i don't know like get some cinnamon bark or something like that's as simple that's why i say how simple young living is because we have an oil called cinnamon bark you just put it in some water drop some drops in there and then you plug it up and let it be in the air it's no as simple as that nothing nothing extra nothing <laughs> you know like Nothing added, what they call the additives, is none of this water and oil to scent your area that you're in or whatever, and you breathe that in in a in a um in the inside of a building where you don't have fresh air. At least you know what you're inhaling. That's how I look at it. And people probably look at me now. Like, you just so lot. Yeah, I'm so lot to me and my health and having a better lifestyle than sitting up there. Oh, I'm probably looking like, oh, I look like I'm sleepy. I've been up since four o'clock. <laughs> but anyway, it's probably the angle of the camera. But either way, I go. But it's just like, I just had to get this out of my mind. I ain't no telling. I don't know if I'm gonna post this or not. You know, because I got to learn how to do all this editing stuff and everything. My sister's trying to teach me and everything, you know. But right now, it's just going to be raw, unedited, whatever the case may be. Hey, I'm just trying to, you know, like I told my sister, hey, I'm just doing it. You know what I'm saying? Doing it regardless what somebody say, what somebody think or whatever. I'm just doing me and what I believe in at the end of the day. Nobody has to watch it. It's still going to be out there. You never know. Somebody down the line might be looking for something one day, one of my hashtags or something, and then watch the video and be like, hey, I need, you know, maybe I need to DM her, write a comment in, you know, hey, you know, and at least it'll be worth it me sitting here at this moment and this time saying, you know what, I want to put the information out there that it's a better way than what we've been doing. You know what I'm saying? At least health wise you get what i'm saying and then some people that are taking on that like as far as like essential oils are, are out there you know what i'm saying even if they're not from young living but what i know i have learned about young living is the way that we process it that's the difference that makes us not better but makes us different and you would have to like um see it for yourself because the one thing that sold me on it is the fact that peppermint what it is more than anything that's what people always they story always they talk about is peppermint and how they were like okay if peppermint is a leaf and it's natural why do some of these essential oils say for external use only they just want you to breathe in whatever it is little bit of peppermint oil that they put in there and then they add whatever additives to it and we don't even ask questions about it we just like oh we just got this holistic thing going on or whatever and not really all together whole you know i don't want to say holistic you know because it's probably more than all to this holistic thing or healthier lifestyle or whatever the case may be but it's like, I'm like, 
they adding stuff to it and saying we just gonna let you inhale it and we not asking no questions but young living you can drink it you're not you don't have to just diffuse it and inhale it or whatever you can digest it put it in your system let peppermint do whatever peppermint does for your system and not just by um just one sense senses or whatever your nose or whatever you, you gotta put it in your body through your mouth and see what it's supposed to do because it's good for digestion and all that stuff or whatever let it do whatever it does do for your tummy and this that and the other one instead of just sniffing it yeah it might do some things in your brain too peppermint or whatever and everything as far as smelling it or whatever but it does other things too it's just like it just doesn't have one purpose or one usage or whatever at the end of the day so it's just like that's been the whole thing when it comes to the young living difference to me or whatever when that was explained to me or whatever just period like our vitality line period that's the stuff that you can ingest you can drink put it in tea put it in a capsule whatever the case may be and all this or whatever you know what i'm saying and it's a lot of them when i say it's a lot of them you cook with them all kinds of stuff you can do it with them or whatever but that's to me like excites me because i'll be like okay i can let them work their magic in me not just on the outside of me and then like learning about all these different things that i could put on my skin and it and it just works with all the five senses that's how i look at it like it doesn't just you don't have to just use one sense i don't know it was how I, i'm not saying it right but yeah i get what i'm saying the five senses and it's just like you're not just using this you're using this touch definitely using touch using taste y'all yeah, know i love because right now I'm, I'm trying to count and see that i get all five of them <laughs> oh yeah because hearing wouldn't be in it but i mean you can do stuff to your ear too as far as putting essential oils on it because we learn all kinds of stuff in essential on me in um young living it's just like they do everything to like educate you like so you can be successful and i'm sure they say that in every probably like business or whatever i'm not gonna bad mouth anybody because i don't know everybody else's business or whatever all i can do is tell you what i know about who i'm with and everything and i know they just educate me and then the more that they educate me it made me say i'm proud to be a part of this company and to do what we do you know, for people every day and what we do for ourselves. Because the more that we do it for ourselves and people see the difference in everything or whatever, then that will draw them to us and say, okay, what is this change and what is this thing that you're doing or whatever and everything. And then you can sit there and you can educate them just like somebody educated you. And, and say, um... You know, and let it just go on and go on. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you teach your kids something and it goes on for generation to generation. And see, that's what I'm trying my best to do right now to say, okay, yeah, my kids may not be on one accord with me right now and this, that, and the other one. But I know once they see change in me, they're going to be like, okay, mom, this might be worth the try or whatever because we see a change in you. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, like what's going on, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and everything. Because, you know, at least that's my goal that I want to reach and everything. I'm trying to find a give you. It's just like when you do, like, you know how you take those thousand selfies before you find the right one? But maybe I ain't got no good light. I am sending a tree, right? And then I've been talking for, like, over 20 minutes, and I'm tired of holding this phone because I broke my arm. <laughs> my thing you put up on the window, I got to get another one. I was headed to go do that, and then I said, man... I'm just going, you know, this sort of like my therapy, just sit by myself, gather my thoughts and just get them out. I think like even doing these videos, these, this is a good thing for me to sit there, just find a good way to express myself and everything. And, you know, hey, never know who may be needing the same thing. And maybe that, uh, you know, me doing something may, hey. You know, push them to say, okay, maybe I should do this too, whatever. Because, I mean, that's basically what people do on YouTube every day. They be like, okay, I'm doing this. I'm going to share it with the world. So they go out and they share it with the world. And that's all that I'm doing. But I'm trying to, like, make it to 25. So I don't know when I'm going to cut it off. But, hey, if you want to know anything else about Young Living, you know, maybe I'm not answering all the questions that you want to, that you 
want to know or whatever but you can always ask me you know what i'm saying my stuff is going to be down below my all my social media platforms you feel free to like contact me and i'll see y'all next week all right see you later people bye